Hey everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET and today I am going to fix a, a web API or RESTful API related problem that written API written 404 error, I mean to say that not found error message uh, when I adding authorized attribute. Right now it's not add a authorized attribute right here. You can see that authorized. But right now just uh, I want to remove first and I want to check it first without authorize this controller I mean to say that get all departments is working is working fine I mean to say that so uh, well after I add authorize attribute at a controller level or the action level API returns 404 I mean to say that not found exception so just when it try it out and I just execute it you can see that here we have a breakpoint so hit your breakpoint very well now just after that I add a authorized attribute so what happened just after adding your authorized attribute and you can see that in program.cs file I handle everything like builder.service.add identity identity user identity role like that and authentication is right there uh, app.use authentication and everything is uh, handled by identity db context okay so everything is hindered now but after that i got a error message just after that in departments controller your breakpoint is not hit okay your breakpoint was not hit so what is the problem and return it 404 okay so just check it now and when i try it out Try it out and execute it. I just got a 404 error, something like that. Because it happens when your API is not authorized and your redirect URL does not exist. Your redirect URL, I mean to say that it's it uh, actually authorized attribute redirect your URL to the login controller, but its login controller is not there. So just you can say that your redirect URL does not exist. When authentication fails, Web API will send a 401 error. But it's right now I got a 404. I uh, if I got 401, it's okay. But I got 404 error. How to resolve this types of problem? Uh, before uh, to solve the error, I want to show uh, my membership program. I will give you a complete video tutorial on .NET Core. Depper, REST API, Angular. It's not a normal tutorial. I will give you beginning, professional, beginning, intermediate, and professional level video tutorial. And these video tutorial based on the project. So real time project I, I will create on .NET Core, Depper, REST API, Angular, Entity Framework Core, MS Test Unit. If you want to join this membership, uh, I will give you complete video tutorial, complete source code, and the resource material. I mean to say that uh, resource uh, resources that is document files, images file like that. Okay, and only eight hundred rupees once uh, you pay and get this membership. Uh, you pay only one time fees that is eight hundred rupees, and I will give you in all technologies videos uh, tutorial and the complete source code. And not only a tutorial; it's a project based tutorial. So I will give you a complete uh, project based tutorials in just eight hundred rupees. I will give you .NET Core, Dapper, REST, API, Angular, Entity Framework Core, MS Test Unit, .NET Blazor, Unit Testing, and I mean to say that zero to hero video tutorials on these technologies in just 800 rupees. How to get the membership? So just fill this form that is full stack development uh, form. Your name, your email ID, your contact number. It's optional. Your contact number, transaction reference ID, order ID, or PayPal ID. I mean to say that if you are belong from India, just pay using this UPI code that is only 800 rupees one uh, once, only one time fees. And if you are belong from other country, just pay. Uh, this is my PayPal ID, that is gmail.com And you just get unlimited membership. And your uh, form a link will be uh, available in your video description box. So must to check your this video description box and uh, get the link and fill the form and your membership start now so if you want to resolve this types of problem because uh, just define your authentication scheme right here
So what is the authentication scheme is there? Authentic scheme is I want to use JWT. So JWT is a default dot authentication scheme. So that authentication scheme is working. So authentication scheme is what? That is JWT parent default dot authentication scheme. Right now, just after that, I just started. And you know that uh, the authorize attribute just check the authentication scheme. Okay, uh, to for the login. So here we have a JWT parent default. I mean to say that token based authentication scheme is applied right now. So there is a no redirect url so just i enter it try it out and execute it and just got a 500 it's not 400 i got a 4 uh, i got a 4 uh, 500 passes no authentication handler is registered for the scheme register handler is what the register handler is in the program.cs file just add the register handler like builder dot services dot add authentication and in authentication, we just add a handler that is add JWT bearer default. That is add JWT bearer. And this is the handler. That is add JWT bearer is the handler. So I wanted to use JWT bearer as a handler for the scheme that is default authentication scheme. So when I add authentication scheme at the, uh, at the controller level, with their scheme that is authentication scheme is different from the default that is jwt by default that is authentication scheme so authentication scheme is called handler and that handler is specified in the program.cs file that is add jwt better when i try it out again and execute it i just got a error message and error message you know that is 401 and 401 is what that is unauthorization so that is correct authorization is working now with the scheme that is JWT where default dot authentication. So if you want to add authorize must to define your authentication scheme at the controller level or the action method level. So must to add authentication scheme is JWT where default dot authentication scheme. Okay. So thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all of the videos which is like to ASP.net.